Hello moms, did you miss me? Hello moms, welcome back to Destiny Busy Moms YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sandra and I'm an intentional living coach, helping moms live their best lives intentionally on a daily basis. And you're welcome to the family. I've been away for about two months and I miss you all for those who have always been in the family that always stuck by me through it all through thick and thin thank you so much i really appreciate you and i really hope that the second half of the year is going to be a good one today all i want to say all i want to admonish you is to just encourage you to trust god and be hopeful for a better half of the year i know that the first half of the year must have been tough for a lot of us and you know it was really really changing life changing for many of us considering the economy if you're in this part of the world and even in every part of the world right now i'm sure the economy is something else you know but Come on, God has been there all the while. He's not going to leave us at this point. So basically, all I want to say in today's video is really encourage you to keep going, to keep moving. Never give up, never hold on, never halt, never stop. And that is because you never know when your breaking point, that testimony you've been hoping for, that thing that you've been believing God for is going to come to pass. Can you keep keeping on? I remember one of the words I got in this year 2023 is to dwell to dwell and trust me god the holy spirit has helped me you know to be able to dwell with him and to be able to ask him to come into my everything my every action and my every step and you know just basically every step of the journey so far and trust me trust me god has been faithful and i know that you can also say this of yourself and your journey if you want to be truthful if you really want to be truthful god has been good god has been faithful the fact that we are still here in spite of all the odds against us it's evident that god is good so even as the first half has ended and you're wondering how will the second half be can you just be patient can you just trust god trust him for the impossible trust him for that thing that you keep thinking and you keep overthinking about trust him for direction throughout your intentional living journey like i say in my coaching it's not easy who said it will be it is not easy at all to live intentionally because you're going to look like the odd one out in so many cases in so many instances at your workplace at your business place you know, your job and all you need to look so different and you know sometimes you might even be tagged you know some kind of names so you might be looked on i mean you might be looked um looked down on right you might be looked down on how you're viewed and how you're perceived and all so trust me it's not going to be easy i know that for sure <laughs> firsthand that it's not easy to be the single person that is different amongst you know a lot of people at work or you know in your school and all or whatever you do but just know just know that god is pleased with you i mean once he's pleased with you why worry about any other thing or what any other person has to say right and if you are doing what you need to do as an intentional mom as an intentional person who is deliberate about her actions and her steps and you know just everything she does and says if you are truly deliberate then you know that you are going places you really need to you really don't need to be scared or to worry about what other people think just know that it might take time it might not be immediate it might not be perfect initially but 
perfection is on the way and that's what's most important so that keeps you focused and that helps you to keep on going so in the second half of the year all i'm saying to you is that can you keep on going not necessarily for anyone's sake but for your own sake for your own sake like for your sanity and for your well-being and you know just for the sake of pleasing god in everything you do because at the end of the day that's what intentional living is all about we are not living like others right we are living a step higher a step further to perfection and let me say this too because many people assume that the intentional life is a perfect life no 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 i must tell you it is not the intentional life it's a life that is dedicated that is committed to living perfectly you're committed to living perfectly but you are not perfect yet so you might not be there yet that doesn't rule out anything doesn't rule out the fact that you are intentional you might not be there yet but you're striving to be there and that's most important and that keeps you going that keeps you focused on the most important things that matter in life because you know that you're going somewhere and you're going to affect your generation in the future that's the hope that somebody can look at you and you know or someone can hear about you and you've left a legacy in the person's mind or in the person's life you know just by your own life or by whatever you are able to accomplish here on earth okay so that's most important and also remember that family is important so this coming half of the year make sure you list your priorities and you know iron them out make them straight if you have to reshuffle please do if it will help you to live more intentionally in the second half of this year please please reshuffle your priorities once again you know where you need to work more on this second half you know you know even without telling you know so work more on them ask the holy spirit to help you he is the initiator of intentional living without god without the holy spirit we're really doing nothing we're really wasting our time Okay, that's the edge we have as believers and as moms that are living or striving towards perfection, living our best lives intentionally. We're intentionally making sure that every single time, every single second, every single minute counts. And that's basically what intentional living is all about. So in the lives of your husband and children and loved ones, everyone that you come across or everyone that comes across you, make sure that you're living a legacy, a legacy of hope, a legacy of happiness, of joy, of you know, victory, of breakthrough, of just one who is living the best life that one can live at that moment at that point in time is that okay i know it might be a lot to ask but trust me if you're leaning on god this second half will be better than it has ever been and i trust god for you i trust god for that that it will be your testimony you'll be seeing more of me hopefully by god's grace as i plan to you know be stable and consistent more consistent on you on youtube this second half of the year okay so if you're not following me yet you're not following the channel yet if you're not on you're not following me on social media platforms yet i'll leave the links in the description and i'm hoping that you join the family where other intentional moms are gathered there is something about the gathering of like minds they propel you they push you to become better and to know that you're not alone in this journey that's the encouragement you need to keep going is that okay i'm sure it is thank you so much please do well to like this video do well to also share to other moms out there welcome them into the family i have a coaching program that is ongoing it's a monthly coaching program and i would love you to be a part of it if you would really want to be a part of it then please check the description below i'll leave the link and i'll be glad to welcome you into the family into the fold have a lovely second half of the year see you next week bye